Hey YouTube, it's Raj Hef. I just had my third uh, set of uh, visitors to my camper. Um, people are curious about my camper uh, because uh, they can see me moving around inside because there's windows all the way around it. There's a window behind me, but it's blocked right now and I have some curtains up. But they can see that I'm inside my camper and they can see me moving around because they can see my feet. As I'm sitting on my uh, on my sofa inside the camper, I have this big hole in the floor, which means I can stand up inside. Here I am. I have all kinds of headroom. My gosh, I have, this is about a six and a half foot tall camper. But this aspect of it is uh, crazy to people. This is a uh, this is one of the most unique features of my camper perhaps the most unique feature of the camper. How do I manage to do this? From the exterior, it's a homemade camper. It looks like a homemade camper. But there's a giant hole in the floor. So I thought I'd make a video to explain this. In the daytime, my sofa is in sofa mode. And then that sofa slides forward right to here right next to my cooler and it makes a queen size bed area so i'm sleeping on the floor of my camper it's in that mode it's in uh, bed mode when i'm traveling and at night there's a another piece that fits right in here to completely enclose it while i'm traveling and completely enclose it at night um, this camper, this trailer, started off its life as a cable reel trailer. You've seen these, I'm sure, parked alongside of the roads in a construction zone, uh, holding a big spool of wire. Uh, so that's what this started with. It had um, Has. I don't know if you can, how well you can see this. I have independent axles. I don't know again how well you can see them, but I put independent axles on this. So this frame is a Y shaped frame. So there's no supports on this end. It's a really heavy three inch tube steel frame. When I told people I was going to build this thing to pull behind my Jeep, they were very concerned I was going to be taking it off-road and through the woods and whatnot. Well, this is the kind of place that I'm, I'm camping in. I'm a Civil War reenactor, and for the most part, this is the kind of place I'm, I'm camping in. It gets a little bit more rustic than this on occasion, but this is kind of normal. It works beautifully. It gets no water in it when it's raining it gets I can I've driven through several thunderstorms no water inside I've been inside it when it's pouring down rain and no water gets inside great design feature if you want a, a short camper that'll fit in your garage this would do it 